What else does it say here? Running. What does that mean? Just running fast. You're a fast runner. Okay, that's a good skill. I never, well, I don't run fast, so uh, I never wrote that down. Hula hoop. Are you a good hula hooper? Yeah. Can you do it like around your neck, too? Um, kind of, but I can do it a long time around my waist. Yeah, I haven't found my waist for a while, but I'm sure I could if I had one. What else you got here? Jump rope. Good. Do you do double dutch? Um, no. Try learning that. I can't tell you how many times I see that on the breakdown services. Double dutching. They like that because they, they love kids doing that. You've seen it on commercials, right? Yeah. The double dutching. See, I may be old, but I know what I'm talking about. All right, what else here? Writing, art, origami. Do you say origami or origami? Origami. Origami. How did you get to learn that? Well, uh, it started like last year because we were reading this book called Sadako. And at the back of the book, it showed you how, how to make paper crates. And so uh, I was the first one to learn how to make one. And I taught all my cl classmates how to make it. Did they love that? Yeah. That's a special skill, origami. That's really cool. Did you give them away as presents and stuff? Um, no, but um, then I went on YouTube and learned how to make some other kinds of origami. Well, what, what kind of things do you make? Um, once I made like a flower and I learned how to make a Christmas tree. Wow, that's very cool. Yeah, I'm turning them into cards and giving it to people. See, that's it. That's very creative. I love that. That's I, that's a really incredible special skill. Because I gotta tell you, sometimes when you're sitting on the set and you're waiting to go in, you know, and do your lines and do your scene, it could take forever, right? Yeah. You sit around. So most people sit around and just like do nothing, you know, or they eat a lot, or you know, it's like, cause, ooh, all that great candy, but that's not a good thing to do. If you have your origami with you, origami, or if you have your, um, what else can you have with you? Well, your hula hoop, whatever, if it's a nice day outside. It's always good to bring things to do so it keeps your mind going. So you're not, as long as you know your lines are ready, right? To keep busy so you don't get, like, crabby, right? Yeah. And then you keep out of everybody's way, too, that way. You just do your own thing, mind your own business, and you're doing something creative at the same time, right? Mm-hmm. Cool. Okay, spelling. You're good at spelling. Yes. Did you see that movie the spell, that was Aquila and the Spelling Bee? Yeah, I like oh that God. movie. I love that movie. I like cried my eyes out. I was so happy. <laughs> Let's not tell the ending in case someone's renting it now. But <laughs> it was good, huh? Yeah. So how did you get to be a good speller? Um, I in class in school we in every grade we always have spelling tests. Oh, so you beat everybody out? Yeah. How do you study for spelling? I mean, spelling is good because you're learning lines, you're memorizing. Is it like a thing like, do you have like what they call a photographic memory where you look at something and go, oh, I remember that? Um, not really, but once I, I like study the word, I keep looking at it, then I try spelling it in my head without looking at the word. And if I spell it right, that's good. That's really good. I was a good speller too, actually. When I, when I was in sixth grade, I won the spelling bee in, in the whole school. And there was one kid, Rick Rose, who was, like, smarter than me. My dad would always say, so what did Rick Rose get on his report card? And I go, I think he got an A, but I beat him out. I beat him out, and I got, like, a silver pen. I was so excited. Oh, but it's enough about me. What else did you do here? Oh, um, do you speak a foreign language? Yeah, I speak Tagalog, kind of. What does that say? Tagalog. Tagalog. Okay. Tell me all about yourself in 10 words or less, in tagal, tala, tala, Tagalog. Tagalog. Um, uh, I... Okay, that was too hard. Just say anything, because I'm not going to know what it means. <laughs> okay? Anything you want. And, and it could be like, hi, how are you? Okay? Or hello and goodbye. Okay? Uh... I, wait. Do you know it a little bit, or do you know it fluently? A little bit. Okay, come on. That's the one thing. You cannot lie on your resume. Either you write fluent, or you write, what do you write? You write, like, um, can speak words of it, okay? okay. All right, because that's a, a very important thing. When you put something on your resume, try not to, uh, you know, be a, be a little bit specific. Because if you say that you're a hip-hopper, yeah, are you a really good hip-hopper, or can you do it if you get them, you know... I mean, you can stand on your head and roll and break dance and all that stuff. It's really important to, you know, give the level that you are. All right, so it's just, so someone writes it for you, you can say it, right? Yeah. Okay, so just say hello. Uh, it's the same thing. Oh! <laughs> so 
So I just said it then. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> now I know this the language, right? Now, do you know any other languages? Um, no. Okay, here's a real important tip for everybody out there. If you have an opportunity, if your parents or your grandparents or cousins or aunts or uncles come from another country and they speak another language, have them speak it in the house. Have them speak it around you so that you can pick up on it and you will get more parts. Guaranteed. I can't tell you how many Latino kids I have don't speak Spanish because the parents were so intent on making sure the kids knew English, they didn't speak Spanish. And you know how many parts come up for kids that speak different languages? So, does your father speak this language, Tagalog? Tagalog. Tagalog. Does he speak it? Yes. Fluently? Yes. Have him talk to you, okay, in that language. That would be fun, huh? And then you can really know what you're talking about when you go out there, right? You'll beat out the other kids. I swear to God, you will. Okay, what else is on here? You've done some commercials? Yeah. Hmm. Big Lots. Asian kid. Background. Okay, big lots. What did you do for that? Um, I was this kid, and I, and me and my brother, we were we were just running around in the snow playing. Perfect, because you have running as your skill. They cast her perfectly. Well, it was so delightful. To, do you have any questions for me right now? No. That's good because we're done. It was so delightful to talk to you, and we're going to bring your dad in now, okay, because this is the guy that takes her to all the auditions and jobs and takes her to her classes, very important part of the business, and we're going to bring your dad in right now, so stay tuned.